Hello all. So in the last session uh, we have uh, learned about the development of cone and we have completed one problem also. So we are continuing with the, the development of cones. The next question you can see in your screen right now. Draw the development of a cone of a diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm which rests on its base on HP. A semicircular hole of diameter 18 mm is being cut so that the straight portion of the semicircle is on the top and the center of the semicircle is at a height of 20 mm from its base. Draw the development of the cone. Okay, this is the question. So, we know that the first step is we have to draw the two views of the cone. So, the views were completed and a semicircular hole of radius 18 mm is being cut so that the straight portion of the semicircle is on the top, okay, is on the top and the center is at a height of 20 mm from its base. So, a semicircular hole with its straight portion is on the top means we can construct the semicircle only in this manner, okay. So, its radius is 18 and its height is 20 mm from the base that is given. So, at a height of 20 from here, draw a semicircle of radius 18 mm. So, it will be coming like this. Now, the next step you all know, locate the intersection points 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. It has been seen that the two points are not touching any generators, it is lying between two generators. So, name those points as that we can do later. Now, we have to calculate theta, theta is equal to 360 into radius r that is a uh, diameter 60. So, this is 30 by L that is the length of its land edge on measuring that value you will get 65. So, a development like this can be obtained. Uh, now, divide this also into 8 equal parts. Yesterday I told take the protractor, divide this value into 8 equal, uh, eight, uh, divide this value by 8 and locate those points using a protractor. So that you can put uh, 4 points like this and we can recheck whether this is correct or not. So, the development of the cone is being constructed. The next step is we have to transfer these points, the points 1 to 6 to the true length line, to the true length line and transfer those points to the development line, right. So, this 1, 6 and 5 on transferring to the true length line, it will be coming here on 4 and 2 will be lying on the same line, this will be the corresponding point and 3 will be somewhere here. Now, the point 1 is lying on the generator through H and B, so take this distance and mark it on 
B and H. Six and five is also lying at the same distance. Six and five is also lying on the same distance. So mark that points on the corresponding generators. That is through C, through G, through F, and through D. Now it is time to locate the point 2 and 4. Take this distance and mark and locate the point 2 on the generator through B and H. Similarly, locate 4 on the generator through F and D on the generator through F and D. Now locate 3. So, take this much a distance and mark it on C and G. Now connect all these points. You can see that eh? this points are transferred to this point, right? And this distance is equal for all the points. That means that will be the, the points connecting 1, 6, and 5 will be an arc having this much radius right because on connecting this you will only get it. this is the distance of all the three points so it will be only an arc okay so this much a portion has been completed now we have to locate two more points that is this end and this end so the step is name this point as 7 dash and this as 8 dash, this is 7 dash and 8 dash. So, how can we locate 7 and 8 on the development? The step is, you have to draw a new generator through the point 7. And another generator through the point 8. So, that you have obtained two points on the base transfer that point or draw vertical lines through that points so that you will get a two new intersections at the base in the top view we have done this the same thing in the case of a pyramid right similarly draw a vertical line from here so that you will get these two points now that is the distance from a to h take this distance and mark that distance from a to h so that we have obtained a point here Similarly, take this distance that is distance from A to B. So, take this distance and mark from A to B like this. So, that we will get the two new generators. Similarly, take this distance that is distance from E to F, mark from here like this. So, that we will get a new point here. Similarly, take this distance that is from E to D. Another thing, so that so that we have obtained the two new generators, right? This is one generator here, one generator here. Similarly, two generators here. So now we have to locate the two points seven dash and eight dash on these two generators. So what will be the step? Transfer this eight and seven to the true length line take that distance and mark on the corresponding generator right we know that uh, since 5 6 1 and 7 and 8 are lying on the same line that will be an arc 
So, take that distance means that distance will be this only. So, this distance take this distance and mark it here, mark it here, mark here, mark here. This will be 7, this will be 8, this will be 7, this will be 8. So, the new curve will be like this, connecting those. Okay. So, we have obtained the development of the hole. This is the development of the hole. Now, mark this portion, this portion and this portion using a uh, one edge pencil, darker pencil. So, that this is the development of uh, this cone, right, having a semicircular hole. Complete the dimensions and uh, also you put this value in a box. I hope all of you have understood this. Thank you.